you know, the government has already set a target of 450 gigawatts of renewables by 2030. Uh, we've already crossed 150 gigawatts of installed capacity from, from non-fossil fuel-based sources. Uh, the government is very solidly behind trying to achieve the target, so there are a number of policy interventions and other efforts uh, that are uh, geared in that direction. So I feel very confident that we'll achieve the target by 2030. And uh, we as a company, look, we are at this point the largest company in India in terms of total commission capacity in renewables. We have almost a 8% market share. Uh, we see that continuing or increasing somewhat, and therefore uh, we see ourselves playing a fairly central role in this whole energy transition in India. And keep in mind that eventually we'll have things like green hydrogen uh, and so on coming into the mix as well, which will actually broaden the ability of renewables to impact the energy transition more broadly, even beyond the electricity sector. So it's going to be very exciting, and we certainly see ourselves playing a significant role in that. Can you share with us uh, what is the most popular form of renewable energy in India? And uh, in a follow-up to that, if I may, uh, you recently acquired a hydro facility as well as a solar project. Is there more M&A in store? Yeah, so to answer your second question, certainly we'll be looking at M&A as a way to grow because there are a number of assets that are available at any given time in India. So apart from the organic growth to 450 gigawatts, we'll also certainly look at the M&A market. Uh, we've done about two gigawatts of M&A so far, and there is no reason for us not to continue doing that. Uh, that's about a, about a 25% market share of our, of, our, of our total capacity installed. So I think that will likely continue. As far as your first question is concerned, the interesting thing is that, uh, you know, now it's no longer a question of more solar or more wind. What we are finding is that uh, now solutions, which we describe as intelligent energy solutions, which are essentially fundamentally based on a combination of wind, solar, and storage, which are actually able to give the grid more balanced uh, sources of generation with very high plant load factors of 80, 85 percent through, uh, you know, through totally clean sources. That really is the way forward in the Indian market. Uh, because, as you know, as you, if you just keep adding more and more solar, you'll have grid imbalance issues, and the same thing with wind. But combining the two together and adding on to that storage in a way that makes it very grid-friendly, I think that's the direction in which the Indian market is actually going to grow. And the reason we acquired the hydro asset actually is because it helps us balance uh, wind and solar somewhat better and, and actually allows us to give more grid-friendly solutions uh, into uh, the distribution utilities. So I think that's the direction that the Indian market is going to go in.